Good day, Doug back again with another video. Of course, uh, quite some time ago, I did a series. Well, I did about three videos, two in a series, and then one later on on YouTube moderation. And I'm talking about particularly live stream moderation. And so we're going to revisit that today because it's been a hugely popular subject on my channel of late. I was on Nimmin Live a few weeks ago uh, moderating as I do. So what I'm going to do is walk you through some live mod, just some practical showing you how we typically moderate a live stream using the tools that YouTube have given us. Now, if you get any questions about moderation on YouTube in particular along the way, make sure you drop them in the comments below. I'm so happy to come and meet you in the comments and answer any questions. So let's get right into it. Now you can see I am live. Uh, with my chat open, I'm watching Nick Nimmin's live stream. I'm moderating for Nick Nimmin, and uh, we're going to see. Um, I might um, have to hide things uh, if uh, inappropriate, but I'm going to show you the basic idea with moderating here right now. You can see the chat's moving fairly quickly, but what will happen is if I move my mouse, if on my keyboard, this is on desktop, of course, on my keyboard, if I press the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac. You got to make sure the window is uh, selected. You can see as I, as I do it, you can ho hover over any message. It'll stop feeding through, and I can apply one of three uh, moderations. I can remove the chat, I can give them a timeout, or I can ban them from the channel. Now I'm going to release that because I don't want to do any of those. You can see we get ones like that person there. They just got by done by mother, another moderator for spamming the same uh, message repeatedly. So you can see there's live moderation going on. This is what a moderator sees. They can see what other moderators are doing. I can see the, the everything disappearing as they're being moderated. This is a moderator in the blue. Let me just hold that down there. Uh, Urban Explorer with the spanner says, do not spam the chat. He's laying down the law as a moderator does. There we go. We've got, we got crying emojis. We've got stuff going on. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have anything to actually moderate while we're talking. The alternative way is not use the alt key. I can just sort of stop it from scrolling and click the three dots. And I have the same three moderations, the hard user for channel, the timeout, and the remove. I'll also do a report, which is like a report to YouTube style thing, but we tend, tend not to use that too much. As you can see, the chat moves very quickly. When you're in, in a, a, at the moment, we've got about 285 concurrent viewers, give or take on, on this right now. And so the, you'll get a lot of activity in the chat. It can be very, very easy to miss things as a moderator when it's moving quickly. What you want to do is have a team of moderators. So if you're a live streamer, make sure you've got at least a couple of people that can moderate. But at the very minimum, you want one person that can sort of do the job beyond what you might have set up for your filters to do, like blocking links and blocking uh, uh, inappropriate words, uh, blocking words you don't want people saying in the chat that could be part of like like a spam thing or a, or a, you know swearing or whatever it might be. Urban Explorer saying, please stop asking for subs. There's people are doing sub for sub stuff in the chat, which is something that we don't permit in this particular stream as uh, we don't promote, we don't talk about uh, sub for sub stuff. Let's see if we can moderate somebody. We just need someone to be in a position to moderate. So I'm just going to let this roll. We'll skip ahead until I see someone to moderate. Uh, this is just going to record. We'll skip through and we'll see what happens. All right, I can see this Jasmine Games is just spamming, so I'm just going to do my timeout. So I've just clicked on the timeout. They're going to, all their messages they just disappeared because I timed them out. <laughs> Urban Explorer gave them a timeout as well, so they've got two timeouts. I don't, I don't think it compounds though. I think they just get the 300 seconds, which is five minutes. And sometimes you need to jump in, like I just did, and somebody made a certain comment. I needed to reply to them to give them some information. In this case, I needed to tell them. I hope. You, Asking you don't answer my questions. It's like, well, I hope you got your question in the form so that Nick can answer it. So hopefully that happens. And every now and then I also drop. This is gonna be a whole other tutorial. I'm dropping uh, the message. It tells people to drop their questions in the link, which is in the description, which is how Nick does his Q and A with. Like at the moment we've got 304 concurrent watches. You just can't receive those volumes of questions in the chat and be able to answer them. So we have them put them in the form. So every so often, I'll drop the reminder to people to actually don't put them in the chat. You can try, but you're probably not going to get seen. Drop it in the form 
So it goes in the queue, Nick will answer it in order. Now I've programmed my stream deck how to do that. That's a separate tutorial, so that's coming up soon. I'll show you how I do that. Sometimes what happens in sort of like an informational stream like what Nick does, where they're asking YouTube questions, people are looking to, they're looking for someone that can come and answer their question on the spot. Some people come in without any patience. So these streams can go for three, four hours sometimes. So people got to have patience that you can only get through so many questions. This is why we have the form, as I mentioned before, in the description, making sure that they are aware that forms there, go and put their question there instead of complaining that their question, which has been placed in the chat, hasn't been answered because it's not going to get seen in there. You've got to be really lucky to get it seen in there or you've got to drop a super chat to get it seen, something like that. And we've got another, another spammer, which we're going to time out. Boom. The most, common, the most common thing I find I have to do is time people out. Another moderator in the house. We've got a few moderators now, so that's good. Because quite often, uh, one moderator will pick up something that the other one might have missed. So it's good to having several moderators, if you can. I can see people are also dropping questions in Super Chat, which we haven't really had so far. But now we've got a question there that'll get addressed at some point in the stream, of course. Don't re usually, most of the time, we don't have to moderate <laughs> Super Chats. Usually, people, the type of people who Super Chat are the type of people who... Uh, like regular people that are, you know, trying to be weird or spammy in most cases. Mostly people are behaving in this particular stream. We've done a couple of timeouts ourselves, a couple of timeouts by moderators, but by and large people are behaving themselves today. So, so basically this is a recap on desktop. If you hold down the alt key or option key on a Mac and hover over the chat message, you'll get the, the free option, free moderation options and you just got to click away. What I'm going to do in the next portion of this video, I'm just going to drop in a little section from uh, what it looks like on the YouTube app on a mobile device where you would actually, and I'm just going to click it over while I'm talking now. You click the three dots next to the name, just like I demonstrated just before on desktop. And then you'll get the same three moderation options, which you can just tap on and apply. So it's as simple as that. So you should have seen that in the B-roll and everything should be good. Subscribe to Doug Hewson YT for more tech for content creation.